I'm Harrison, and I'm from Rockaway Beach, New York. My job takes me all over the city. Kind of have to stay on the pulse of everything new and exciting going on. It could be restaurants, a new hotel, nightlife experiences, anything going on. The day of the ventricular tachycardia, I woke up feeling well. My plan was just to go surfing on my lunch break, 30, 45 minutes, and uh, that's what I did. I wasn't out in the water for too long before I realized there was a problem. There was a large riptide, but I did what's called a duck dive under a wave, and I came up, my pulse was just racing in the side of my neck, um, and I knew that was an issue. And uh, so I looked around, 20 yards to the left, 20 yards to the right, there was one or two people, but my initial thoughts were these people won't be able to help me. So I got to shore as quickly as I could. And when I got on the beach, I couldn't feel my pulse in my neck anymore, which I thought was a good sign, but I didn't feel well. So I packed my stuff up, I drove myself home. As I started to feel progressively worse, I remembered that I had a pulse oximeter reader. I remember vividly putting the pulse oximeter reader on my finger and all I would get was line, line. And at this point, I was pretty freaked out. Um, I then checked my pulse and my wrist and I checked for my pulse on my neck and I couldn't feel a pulse. So at that point I made the determination to call 911. I'm not sure exactly what my statement was on that call except for there's something going on with my heart and I'll be on my front porch in case I lose consciousness. When the EMTs arrived, they put me in the ambulance and they hooked up the leads and almost instantly it was just bang. How long have you been like this? And I could see from the box that the leads were plugged into, it said 225 beats per minute. Their reaction was, you're in ventricular tachycardia. It's a deadly arrhythmia. It's a critical condition. When I arrived at the hospital and the ambulance doors opened and I saw the sheer amount of medical staff waiting for me, I realized that it was a very, very serious situation. Uh, and at that point, it was pure fear. They had tried all of the intravenous drugs that were known to help stabilize this condition and they weren't working. And it wasn't but 15 seconds or so that the world was closing in. I actually saw the brightest light that I've ever seen in my life. And it wasn't the light, it was actually the 100 joules of defibrillation and they were reviving me. The first thing I remember is opening my eyes and looking at the room around me. And I think we all had the same expression on our face which was shock and also happiness. So pretty much immediately after they had brought me back, they determined I needed to be rushed to a specialty hospital. So the first thing I learned was that I would need what's called an ablation surgery. After the ablation procedure was complete, it was determined that I'll need a permanent defibrillator. My doctor described three ICDs that were possible. He let me know that he was able to take part in this trial for the EV ICD um, and described that as a smaller battery about the size of a traditional ICD, but an epsilon wave shaped lead that would rest under your sternum, um, giving you less complications. The recovery process for the EV ICD went relatively well. Um, I was feeling good when I got home. I remember looking at the scar being totally underwhelmed and thinking this isn't so bad. My recovery process was based on being able to resume a normal life. And for me, that means back on the water, back at the beach, back working in the city, doing the things I love to do. I feel protected if I ever need it. And I think that was the right call. The EVICD was absolutely the right choice for me. I think being so young, you know, you tend to take your health for granted. But for me, it was an eye opener that nothing is promised. After going through this experience, I think my only mission now is to find more meaning and purpose in life. And for me, that would be giving back to people and helping people. And this is one way to do that.